You ever get trapped in your car by the rain? Yeah, I'm trapped. Well, I, I mean, I could get out, but I left an exercise class and I came out. I, I am soaking wet. I, I, I have, fortunately, I had my, my towel from my class and it's, it's soaking wet because I used it to kind of try to dry myself. I, hey, I'm not complaining, honey. I am not complaining at all. This is wonderful because it has not rained like this in, oh my God, probably three weeks. And this is good though. It means I won't have to water my grass. So I'm happy. I'm not mad at all. I am tickled to death. But there's thunder and lightning. And I'm also happy too. I'm out here looking at my outside lights and I bought these um, uh, light sensor uh, lights that you use outside. They come on at dark or dusk and go off at dawn. And they did, all three of them that I put in are on right now. So that's great. I won't have to remember to turn them on or turn them off every morning. And I'm going to, I have a lamp, a lamp post out there with three lights. I'm going to replace those. And I have one in the back I'm going to replace. But I had to order some more. Let's see if I was smart, I'd get out right now. Plus, tomorrow's trash day, so I have to, um, I have to move the trash cans out because... Yeah, tomorrow's trash day, and I'm thinking, shit, I got bags of clippings over there. Oh, that was funny. There was a flash of lightning, and right when the lightning flashed, the two lights, the, the motion sensor lights by the front door went off, and then they came back on. They're very sensitive. Don't say anything mean to them. That's great. I went to a, a very hard class. It's kind of short. It's only 45 minutes, but it's hard. Oh! Oh, I'm sweaty and blah. It was a good class, very good class. Um, yeah, so. I don't want to get struck by lightning when I get out. So sometimes in life, even when it's raining, you have to look around and figure out what's good. And if you look around, you can find something good. Like my grass is getting watered, which is wonderful. Um, I won't have to water it. My lights are working like they're supposed to. Ha! <laughs> that one did it again. A light, and there was lightning, and that one flickered. It went off and on. Golly, they're sensitive. Of course, it's not super dark yet. It's only about 7 o'clock in the evening. But I was in this class, and I, I, the, okay, so the building we're in, there is like, I don't know what you call it. There's some kind of wrap on the glass, so you can kind of see out. But not super well and I noticed it was getting really dark you can't really see out very well but I'm looking like why is it so dark out there I didn't know it was supposed to rain fortunately one of the very nice ladies in the class had her umbrella she let me get under her umbrella with her and we ran out to the car out to the parking lot like this like ah it was pouring down rain god so that was funny. I didn't even think to bring in an umbrella. I have one in the trunk, but I didn't think about taking it in. I didn't know it was supposed to rain. I mean, all day today, it looked like it was going to rain. But, you know, you've had days like that where it looks all day like it's going to rain, but it never does. I thought it was going to be like that. I don't know why I'm so talkative. Well, I tell you what it is. I didn't want to go to this class. Now, let me tell you now. I do work out six days a week. Um, some days I work out, I go to two classes a day. So not super frequently, but if there's a day, and I go to different classes all over, all over town, there are different things I do. And if there's a day where it's like, oh, there's this one thing, I really want to go to this too. And if I, if I can, I can't always make it work, but some, most days I have to pick one or the other. Like I can't go to both, but if I can, I do. I do, but I'm going to tell you now, it's easy to look at somebody that does that and go, well, it must be nice to, you know, be so motivated and so, you know, energetic that you can go to all these classes. Honey, that's not really true. That's not really true because that's what my mother used to say to me. And it kind of bugged me a little bit. Got my, this is my Aldi Crofton insulated water bottle. I needed the big bottle for this class. I've about, I've about finished it. Um, she would always say, well, you know, I, I would exercise, but you, you're just lucky. You don't realize how lucky you are. You're just naturally energetic. 
and and this and that and you know it's no it's no big deal it's not hard for you to work out yes it is yes it is um i'm gonna tell you like today i didn't want to go to this class i'll be brutally honest i did not want to go i didn't i did not want to go i'm sitting at the house like oh my God. i don't want to go well and i know it's hard but i'm gonna tell you when it comes to working out or, or whatever it is that you want to achieve, getting there is half the, ba the battle for me. I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, getting there is at least 50% of the battle. Once I get there, I'm good. And I've mentioned this before, but here's what I do. Here's how I make myself work out, okay? So I had already planned to go to this class. But I was sitting there like, I really don't, I just, I didn't have any reason. I just didn't feel like going like, oh, wow. I'm going to get struck by lightning. I probably ought to go in, but I don't know. When I was growing up, I always heard you were safe sitting in a car, but I don't know if I'm not touching anything metal. I always heard if you weren't touching anything metal, you were fine. That may not be true. Lightning is going to do what it's going to do. Lightning is weird. Lightning does some crazy shit. You should, you know, go online and read, like, lightning stories, lightning strikes. It's crazy what lightning can do. Anyway, here's what I do, and I've been doing this for years, and I'm telling you, it works like a charm. When I don't want to go to a class, I, I, go, I go anyway. But listen, here's what I do. I make myself get up and go, but I tell myself, all right, get up and go to this class stay for 10 minutes after 10 minutes if you still don't want to be there you can leave you don't need to make an excuse you can just leave after 10 minutes if you don't want to be there you can go home and only once have I ever gone home and that was when I had a really bad migraine and was starting to feel sick and really shouldn't have been there anyway because of my, my migraine I have gotten some of my best workouts on days I didn't want to go I had a great workout tonight I did. I had a fantastic workout. I feel so much better. My whole mood is better. I am in a better frame of mind. I'm telling you, getting up and getting your body moving can do wonders for you. Um, I do deal with depression. So it's, and my mom would always say that too. She'd say, well, you don't know what it's like to deal with depression. Well, I do. I've dealt with it all my life. And she knows that, but see, okay, for my mother, and I'm not trying to talk shit about my mom, this is just the way she is. With my mother, any kind of physical or mental issues, it's like a pissing contest with her. If you say, um, I sprained my ankle, she would say, oh, that's nothing. I wish that's all I had. You know, I have undiagnosed Lyme disease. Yeah, I wish all I had was a sprained ankle. I'd be grateful if that's all I had to talk about. It's like a contest to her. So if you sit there and say, and I have, I have dealt with anxiety and depression since I was a child. It was never effectively treated, but I dealt with a lot of anxiety, especially when I was younger. Tremendous anxiety. But, I mean, this was back in the 70s and 80s, and it wasn't really a thing like... People looked at it like, well, you're a child. What have you got to be anxious about? What's your problem? You know, they didn't take it seriously. So, you know, you were just told to just shut up and go out and play. You're fine. You don't, you're a kid. You don't have any problems. Just go out and play. So if I sit here and say, you know, well, I, I, Mom, I do deal with depression and anxiety. And, and yes, it is a real impediment sometimes. And sometimes I don't want to get out of bed. Sometimes I don't get out of bed. Some days I just do the bare minimum. I do what I can, and I'm not going to be hard on myself for it. And I just try to do better the next day. I have periods like that. Um, and it's not a cure-all, but I do find that since I really stepped up my exercise game about two years ago, I still deal with depression, and maybe it's a coincidence, but it's not as severe. And I'm not on any antidepressants or anti-anxiety. I'm not on any kind of medication at all. All I take is Synthroid. That's all I got. I don't take anything for depression or anxiety. Not that there's anything wrong with that if you need to. I'm not, because I have. 
I have, I've been totally open and honest about it. I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, I think we need to be more open and honest about mental health in this country. We really, we need to be more open and talk about it and deal with it better than we do, honestly. But anyway, what the hell was I talking about? But so, yeah, it's really, my mom would say, well, it's easy for you to work out. You don't deal with this, this, and I have all these problems, and I have depression and anxiety, and you don't know what that's like. You don't know. It's easy for you. It's not easy, honey. It's not. Some days, and here's what I do. Here's one thing I do. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. This is just something I do, and it work, it helps me. When I am dealing with depression, and I and it it, it it affects me physically, it really does. Um, and a lot of people think that depression is just you know somebody stays in bed all day in the dark, and you know they're sad. And if you were to draw an illustration of them, they would be blue, you know. Depression doesn't always look like that. Sometimes depression can be. I just become very irritable. I get very irritable. I get mad about stupid things. I get mad over little things. And some days I just sit there like I just I, I it's almost like I just zone out. Like I can't I can't my brain is like fogged up and I can't think. But for me, one thing that helps me is and again it's like when I don't want to go to the gym, the hardest part is getting there. I say to myself, I will be sitting there, I'll think, okay, get up, stand up and do one thing, just one thing. Like, say you're sitting there and you see, I don't know, like you see some, a little bit of trash or damn, some trash on the floor. Get up and sweep that up or get up and put the laundry basket up. Get up and pick up some dirty socks. One, just do one thing. Get up and do that one thing. If you feel like sitting back down, sit back down. But what I find though, once I st once I get up and I'm moving, it's almost like momentum. You know, it's like an object in motion tends to stay in motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. If I get up and I do one thing, not always, but I do find, like say I sweep up that cat litter. Well, then I might scoop the litter boxes. I might empty the trash. And when I feel like sitting back down, I sit back down. Like all of this, all of this is a bonus. All of this is, this is all icing on the cake right here. You don't have to do it. But pat yourself on the back for doing it because that's good. That's good. Nobody's going to pat you on the back. You just have to do it for yourself, for me anyway. Ain't nobody going to tell you good job. You just got to tell yourself. And, I, and it doesn't always work. And I'm not saying that it's that simple for everybody. I know it's not, trust me, because there are some days that even for me, that doesn't do anything. I know what that's like. I know that what it's like to have days when you just, the thought of going on and doing anything is just more than you can tolerate. I know. And I know what it's like to live in a family where they minimize that and poo-poo that and, you know... If you ever have any problems, your problems aren't real. You don't get as sick as I do. You don't know what it's like. I know that you had the exact same cold last week, and I told you to, you know, stop whining and get up and do what I told you. But now that I'm sick, the whole world has to stop for me. I, I know what that's like. It sucks. It sucks to live with people like that. Where it's like you never have a valid reason to feel any sort of way that they see as negative or inconvenient. Yes, I know all about that. So, but what I do, I just make myself get up and I make myself do one thing. When I don't want to work out, I make myself go and stay 10 minutes. And usually I forget all about it. After I get there, like tonight, I made that promise to myself, like, just go. If you don't want to stay after 10 minutes, go home. Or, damn, I saw that one. I saw that lightning bolt. Or go get some ice cream or whatever you want to do. You're, you're free to go. You're released after 10 minutes. I forgot all about it. After 10 minutes, I forgot all about it. I was, I was into it. It was a great workout. 
it was wonderful. I'm really glad I went. So, wow. Yikes. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but, um, yeah. So, if, you, if you're struggling, I know, I know what it's like, but keep fighting, keep, keep doing your thing, and if you have goals, keep fighting for your goals, too, because you can do it, I know you can do it, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and sometimes you're going to stumble, sometimes you're going to have to stop and take a break, but just keep going, don't give up, because, you know, because it gets hard. It's okay if it gets hard. Tomorrow's another day. You're tired. You can you can sleep. You can take a break. And then get up and keep going. Keep trying. Whatever that looks like for you. But keep trying. And you'll get there. It may take a long time. But that's okay. That's okay. And it's like. There's this one class I go to. That's kind of hard. And I always feel like I'm not doing it right. But you know what? I go to this class. I work up a good sweat. I feel like I get a. I get up. I get my heart rate up. I feel like I get a good workout. Like, I may not be doing it exactly right, but I'm still, I'm doing better than I would be sitting at home on the couch eating Doritos. So, any, any, anything is, is an improvement. So, I'm, I choose to look at it that way. Anything is better than nothing. So, keep going. Keep working at it. And I think I'm going to run for it. And I have to remember to come out and move the trash cans and the bags. And I have bad thing is too I have a whole bunch of big this it's recycle week and I have a bunch of big cardboard boxes and they won't fit in the recycle bin but if you leave them out they'll get wet I reckon they just got to get wet I can't do anything about it my recycle bin is, is just slam full I can't get them in there I they just gonna have to do what they gonna do I can't do anything about it but anyway I hope you are having a good day a good week a good whatever you got going on Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you again soon.